My name is Andrea Kealoha, I'm from Pa'ia, um, and I graduated from Kinkekalike High School. Um, I kind of grew up uh, near the ocean, in the ocean, surfing, fishing, diving a lot. Um, and so when I graduated high school, um, I knew I really wanted to do something in the ocean, um, but it took me a few years to kind of figure out that I wanted to do oceanography. Um, I remember having a conversation with my dad one day when we were diving, we were walking on the beach, and he was talking to me about how abundant the fish were when he was younger, and how there's so much less fish now. And so it just kind of clicked to me. I was like, that's what I, that's what I want to do. I want to have a say in how we manage our ocean resources. Um, because those resources are important for food. Coral reef resources are important for food. They're important from a cultural perspective. Um, and they're in important from an environmental perspective. So I study coral reef growth. So I use water chemistry to understand how much corals are growing, what makes them grow. So we measure things like light, nutrients, pH, carbon dioxide, um, water flow, and then we put all of these different parameters together to understand, okay, which is more, most important for coral reef growth? Um, how, much is, how much is this reef growing per year? And then kind of looking into the future based on what we expect with climate change, how is that going to affect coral reef growth? Sometimes in, in sitting in a classroom in school, in a science class in school, it's kind of hard to understand like how we actually apply, how we apply, apply these, apply science, you know? In chemistry, they give you a periodic table of elements and you're like, I'm never gonna use this again in my life, right? But um, we do actually use it. And um, science can actually be really fun when you can apply it to something that is meaningful to you. So I think it's really important to get students out into the field to understand like how we're actually using the science and, and what this means. And you know, I think especially in Hawaii, our, our resources are so fragile and limited. We're so geographically isolated and so it's really important that we raise or, or that students grow up to understand like how important these resources are and then you know we inherently or we it's 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 part of us that we want to kind of protect um, protect these resources so just being able to expose them to um, different opportunity career opportunities or, or um, you know college degree paths that they could potentially um, go on that can kind of bring them back home to Maui or back to Hawaii um, to use that knowledge and, and to share it with the community. You know, Kaihu is a wetland. There's multiple streams that come through Kaihu and then the, the, bound, the bounding of um, Iao River and, and Waihu River on one side and then all of that water goes into Kaihu Bay. So um, to measure the water quality at Kaihu, we walk throughout the entire area you know, take all of these measurements at all of the different stream locations, and then especially the two big rivers on the side. And then we measure the water quality um, in the ocean itself, because everything that we measure in the ocean is a combination of all of these different streams um, coming into the bay. So we have instrumentation, different types of instrumentation. Um, we have a YSI, um, and that that uh, the YSI has different probes, so we just kind of stick the probes into the water. We have a turbidimeter, um, and that measures turbidity. And then I have the, um, we collect nutrient samples in bottles, um, and then I run those nutrient samples back here in the lab using this really complicated instrument. <laughs> just because you weren't very good at chemistry or biology or physics or you know, a, a hard science in high school or in college doesn't mean you can't excel in, you know, the applied science. I was not good at, I w chemistry was my hardest subject in high school and I was not good at chemistry in college, but something about applying chemistry to the ocean, I understand it, right, because I've spent we spend a lot of time near the ocean, so I think intuitively it, it makes sense to us. So just because you're not good at chemistry doesn't mean you can't 
you know, study climate change just because you aren't very good at biology doesn't mean you can't study fish or just because you're not good at physics doesn't mean you can't study you know waves in the ocean i think we're in um, in hawaii we're in a really good position to go into these environmental science fields because we spend so much time outdoors So hello, mahalo kia ya o ko paka hia pao no ka hui ana no ka hoona ne pu ana me mako no ka hoa ka ike no ka hoolohe ana ika ike Hawaii o kia makumu mahalo nui for all of you tuning in uh, with us throughout these uh, past days and really you know engaging in the the ike that has been shared from all these wonderful mentor and kumu of Maui of Hawaii. Hello, mahalo ke again, mahalo mahalo to Kaehu, again mahalo to all the people who shared and engaged with us in our keiki and our community. And again, this is encouragement to all you folks to find that space in your own community to, to learn, to engage, to share, to create relationships with Aina and with people and, and learn more and, and share more uh, in the culture uh, in the Aina and I'm again I'm so happy to to be able to share with you folks today um, and throughout these past days so uh, so mahalo mahalo piha ya o kopaka hia pao o vauno o kahaku riti kamara ma ka ehu uh, ahui ho uh, launapu ho kako ike kahila ahui ho